nine, ten, and we are here. <laughs> Yo, I'll be going through difficult problems with this technology stuff. This is Big Gene from Broad Deal, the last big night cooking and conversation. Um, I think it was about 444 when we left the hospital. This is the 25th anniversary of the death of the notorious Big. Mr. Mike the Hebrew, salute, Lynn Brooks. ESAV TV. Damn, I thought I was going to be only here by myself. Asante, Asante Giovanna Shakur, Grand Rising. Nip Neck Pat. Mr. Nigga for Life Key. Yo, listen here, y'all. Got a lot of people in here. Wasn't expected. But April, I told you to give me a call. What's up with you? You just, just oh my God. Or be my publicist, and I can I, only time I could see her or talk to her when she come on the show. She don't pick up the phone or call nobody for nothing. Anyway, this is something that need to be said. I'm going to do another show today, and. It would be about taking questions from people who want to know who really, I thought I gave up all information already, but something that they probably want to know regarding that night Big Dog. And though I thought I told everything, uh, some of you find some of you guys are fans of big y'all help me by telling me some stuff that i overlook like somebody putting the big stickers on big tires that was real big shay j ella boogie 215 i think that was big what do you think rich simpson Alton McGravin, McGarvin, I mean, 15 to Boston. Do you think that was a big thing? Somebody putting the big stickers on his car. I think that was big. But I heard, I heard old boy, I heard old boy. Is it that way? That way, that way. <laughs> Cameras be killing me. I heard old boy right. Is it here? Yeah, right there. I heard old boy over here. And yeah, right there. Talk about mental health Fridays. And just say F it. When that's one of the biggest religious days for the Muslims and the Jews. Anyway, I guess he can. But people try to use this mental health thing as a tool for their own platform. We got Ben Simmons claiming mental health. And he a multimillionaire basketball player. Which A lot of people take those mental health problems with that money. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not shaming them. I'm sorry, y'all. But it's like that. I want to start with the nightmares that some of the people are having that's leading them to drugs and alcohol and their mental health problems. From the night we lost big. And 
they may need those drugs and those mental health prescription medicines to get through the night. It looks bad on StreamYard. Aaron Paris has said the stream log looked bad. Libra 81 tell him what you think. Rebri 82, I gave my tech take on Freddie P. Where were you at? See, I'm looking for my audience to be brighter than most other people audience because i know there's certain things that you can't say but you can say it in a certain way that don't lead you in court like tasha k you feel me charles tita aaron person Y'all can get that duck on the screen. Come on, Terrence. You, Terrence, come on. Terrence Avon, come on, brother. He said mental health coincides with homosexuality. Come on, Terrence. Now, I shouldn't even repeat it that. That's not true, brother. You could say some homos have mental health problems. Um, most homos, you can probably say that, homosexuals. Because at one time, they categorized mental health, homosexuality to be a mental health problem. Fifteen, the boss. He said, "I've been glued to your stuff on auto dialogue. Really great content. Damn, it ain't doing nothing for me. You ain't going to the Gene Deal show. Just go cut the grass, go rake the yard, and just let it play. <laughs> Crazy Corvette. Yes, it is. Big music is eternally." Miss Helen, Helena. No, their conscience won't let them sleep. That's why they need the alcohol. That's why they need the pills and the drugs. That's why they cry mental health problems now. So about 444, we was leaving the hospital because they had pronounced Big dead. And we were taking Puff. And I'm starting with Puff. We were taking him to California. We were taking him to San Diego. Um, Chaz had a convoy around us and Chaz is from Black Hands and I was over Chaz security at the time. I gave him a call so he gave us a convoy uh, trying to make sure that Puff get out of LA without a problem. Puff pulled over and the convoy followed him. Paul, who was big security that night, him in the LAPD. Now he's in the car. Big's dead. He's in the car with Puff. He about to get on the jet and fly back to New York. I guess he wasn't getting paid to do security no more. For Big. Rich Simpson, thanks for letting me know. Yo, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Terrence, Avant, Rich Simmons. Everybody said it looks decent on their end, bro. So you got to check your Wi-Fi or whatever. SNRAP. I'm good, brother. Thanks for asking.
Alton McGovern. Check it out. Me and Paul, listen to me, brother. Don't make that out a big issue. Uh, that big them didn't hear me because they could, they should have heard me. I'm right outside the car, Big's car. Me and Paul is talking. I'm saying, are y'all ready? I was like, y'all, are y'all ready? You know what I'm saying? Yo, before we even pulled off, before I even got into that little altercation with Puff right out there for not riding on the top of the car, getting in the car. Before we got into the altercation, Paul and them, Big them was behind us. They don't show y'all that on that tape. Um, the other car was behind us. So I said, Paul, y'all ready? We right in front of Big's car on the side. I said, yo, damn, we about to get out of here. I said, cool. Now, I said, yo, I said, Paul, follow us. Because we were going to the hills, to Steve Stout's house. We were going to the hill. So if I say follow us, we all play follow the leader as kids. We all been in the city. You got to realize is that Bids crew, um, whoever's been behind us, this ain't the first time we did this. This ain't our first rodeo. Do you understand that? When we leave a place and we take a left, right, they take a left, right, they leave, they coming with us. They not stopping at no, no flashing red lights. If we stop, they stop. If they don't, if we don't stop, they don't stop. So I think it's Alto, Altuan, Altuan, McGarvin, don't worry about that, bro. No. I had some women on this show. When I bring a puff on my show, he don't like my food. <laughs> I had some women on the show, and they said, yo, if my girlfriend blow a light, I'm blowing a light too. Women. Sean Hopper, I don't care if you step up or not. The funny thing about it that you mentioned that, Sean, I hope Kenny and his death decree, Tone and his death decree, and all these other people and their death decree, I hope they write something down that somebody could read and say, this is what really happened. Gene was right about this, that, and the third. Or just tell a side of what they know. It'll coincide with what I'm talking about. Kenny know I told him to run the next three lights or I'll drive. Kenny also know Big said, just do it. But I'll get back to that. Kimmy, Kimmy, that's that. Uh, Rallis, Rallis, how you doing, Kimmy? I get the world, the heart, the hundred percent, the check mark. Go, Kimmy. Go, Kimmy. I, I, go, Kimmy. <laughs> Thank you, Kimmy. Bling, my baby. What up? So anyway, MJ42, we were getting puffed back to San Diego about 440, something like that. You know, after they had pronounced Big Dead and everything like that. Andre Harrell was navigating this whole situation through Mr. Avon. Courtney G. All right. So now, Puff goes back to New York. I'm out there with the Black Hands crew. So they take me back to the uh, Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills Hotel, 
And then the next day, Chaz take me out to dinner and everything like that. So I'm getting my flight situation to get out there also. But I'm not too much worried about the whole situation. Because I'm with black hands. Ain't nothing to worry about. I'm in good hands, like all state, when I'm with Chaz and his crew, as well as I would think they're in good hands to me. At Big Gene 52 Flex, if that's what you want to do. Yes, she did, Helena. So now, let's deal with Diddy Nightmares. Because he was shook. He was shook. But it didn't stop him from calling the people who was doing. Let me get the video right. Because somebody would be right here talking about. Um, I don't believe his ass because he said the wrong video. <laughs> somebody called me back and said. <laughs> somebody said on one of the things. Yo, Gene, that was funny that you said. Nigga, this ain't name my tune. <laughs> but it was hypnotized. The hypnotized video that we shot in LA, but on the hypnotized video, it said on the Florida Keys at the bottom. We shot that shit in California, y'all. So let's deal with Diddy Nightmares first. The nightmares that didn't stop him from calling the hypnotized people and get on them talking about, you got to get that video out. I want that. Listen to the man who was doing the work. That same week, Big was not even cold in the ground. That same week, chopping those people's heads off about getting that video done. but I'm missing you. No, I didn't, Michael uh, Wilkerson, but I'm missing you. A song that was written by Source Money. Now, Source Money says to this audience that I had to put my my mind, you know, my head in the frame of, you know, what Diddy would be thinking or what somebody would be thinking when they lost somebody like that. I had to put my mind as an artist, you know what I'm saying, to cultivate the feelings about someone who is um, doing music like that, you know, for somebody that had passed. So it could be passionate and everything like that. You know, I had to, you know, I'm hearing him tell his story. You know what I'm saying? But then I'm remembering when I first talked to that nigga and he's, On Omega Man, when I'm talking to him, he told me, man, initially, I wrote that song for my mother. But then he telling another story. And then he told my man, Steve Belly, B. Ward. He told my man, I don't know where Gene got that from. I got it from you. Niggas. Yep. C, I mean, S-N-R, Ray P. 
Yeah, I saw him, but he kept his head down in between his legs. You know, you're sitting on the floor, you got your head down like this on your legs. That's how he kept it. Because I was cussing everybody out in the hospital. Because those 12, 13 niggas that left us that night and went to Steve Stout's house came back to the hospital. Now they want to be rah-rah with the doctors and nurses and shit like that. Then they see my demon. When they saw my demon come out, it was another story. Cause I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I wasn't a, I wasn't a good guy that you wanted to laugh, joke, and talk, and be the person that I am today. Back then, now I might have that debonair, somewhat pretty boy exterior. But I was from Wellston, and anybody from the Saint from the Lou knew how niggas from Wellston's was. I I was born and raised in St. Louis, but at the age of 12 years old, I moved to Wellston. And when I tell people that niggas ain't stop at the stop sign in Wellston, you when you was driving in Wellston. It was all green lights, no stop sign. Ain't shit to say, whoa. That's how Wellston was. And people know I'm not lying. Anybody from St. Louis, St. Louis County know I'm telling the truth. So, You can look at newspapers about my shit. I'm not like some of these other guys who want to portray and talk shit or didn't do anything positive or anything in their life before they came to this YouTube thing. And it's a lot of guys like that. Let me get back on to this. Because after Puff, I'm going to go to D-Rock. Puff did the missing thing. Sting didn't want him to do it. Sting didn't want him to use his shit. That's why Sting won the lawsuit for $3 million. And it took Puff over 15 years to pay source money who wrote the shit. And the only reason source money got paid was the help of Jay-Z. Puff, Puff was used to not paying motherfuckers. <laughs> Ain't that right, Freddie P. Somebody say, I would like to know your take on Freddie P. Did I talk about Freddie P, y'all? Because y'all was getting mad at me because I was saying how you give your whole life to your art, to what you want to do, and somebody rob you of everything. You help niggas get to positions and they forget about it. With that interview from Kirk Burroughs that we I did, I'm making that into a short movie, y'all. I'm making that into like a little short story. I'm not just going to throw that up on YouTube. I'm, I'm putting something together so y'all can enjoy it. You understand? I'm putting music on that. I'm putting a few pictures with that. Some pictures that y'all never even seen before. You feel me? Because Kirk Burrow said it. They needed somebody to navigate them through Harlem. Flex. That was me. Benji the shooter. 
I don't know if that Mexican kid's still alive, Benji. <laughs> I wish he was if he come forward. That shit would have been funny. I just don't want no any Mexican to come and forward down my leg. Yeah, Bobby, Lee, Bobby, that was me. You know, you know, senor, that was me, Bobby. <laughs> I don't want no any old Mexican to come and say it. But that shit was funny, Bobby. Yo, 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 Benji, that shit was the truth. Yo, that shit fucked me up. Benji talking about the Mexican kid, the Mexican kid when he said he heard the last story, last show, when Puff came out the car and we was going to see Dr. Dre and them, they were sitting on Melrose. And uh uh Puff came out the, got out the limo and the Mexican just said, Yo, Puff Daddy! I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He said, Fuck you, Tupac! <laughs> and this was, you know, <laughs> He said, fuck you, Tupac. <laughs> they took off running, and Puff took off running behind <laughs> Oh, my God. The Jones family. What up with you? J. Cole, Eddie, Lanu, Grand Rising King. Yo. I don't know what G Money, I, you know, G Money was they people. G Money was they people. It was the Four Seasons in Beverly Hills. They want to know the four seasons where you're standing. I help I help talk the police out of taking them to jail. I help Pup talk the police out of taking Big to jail and they snuck them out the room. I feel fucked up about that because J. Cole locked them 314 because had Big went to jail. Maybe he wouldn't have went to that party. This is shit. This shit just fuck with you. This shit just fucks with you. Paul wasn't a flick a police officer flex. He was with a police officer. Flex that you got that wrong, brother. Paul wasn't a police officer. Bobby Norris, peace to you too. Bobby Norris, thank you for saying good morning to the chat room, brother. Good morning, chat room. Thank y'all for being here. Whiskey to Don, what up with you, boy, boy? He always, you know, he yo, yo, let me tell you, he always, he always put his name, Whiskey to Don. What kind of whiskey you like, Don? I meant to ask you that for a long time. You be coming to the channel talking about Whiskey to Don, Whiskey to Don. What's your favorite kind of whiskey, man? Let me see if you're on the same page with me. Gene, why you talking to me like that, man? See your bullshit in your mouth, man. <laughs> Sticky chicken wings. What kind of gun you had that night? I don't carry number Glocks, brother. I like Glock. Glock is a good combat weapon. 26, 19, 17, 40. At the 40 to 19, I gave Paul a 26. I had no, I had the 19 and the 17. And I gave Paul, Paul the 26. Yeah. See, that nigga forgot what kind of gun he had. <laughs> yeah, C's and Rock stayed there. So now, Puff is behind the scenes and he said they was he was hiding out at his mother's house, or he was doing this and he was doing that. But he wasn't being seen, but he was still working behind the scenes. When you fucked up, you fucked up. You ain't doing no work. You ain't calling nobody. That video shit can wait. I'm not doing that right now. My man just got killed the whole nine yards. I'm going to let my people take, take over. He was fucked up, and let me tell you why he was fucked up. 
he was fucked up because he know he was the one that stopped Big from going to London. And that was way before that night had happened. And Kirk Burroughs will explain that whole shit. And that, oh my God. When I'm telling you that it was crazy to hear Kirk talk about, because Kirk is an elegant speaker, unlike me. He's a businessman. And just like Freddie P, just like Craig Mack, and some of the artists that Puff told people, I ain't fuck with him and don't you fuck with him. He did the same thing to Kirk Burroughs. And Kirk Burroughs on my show said, yeah, we used to pray together. And I said, what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, chill Willie, DFW. <laughs> Bling my baby. He said that we don't need that, Gene. Get in there. Get in the car. Let me put it up there. I could do that now. I don't understand why dumb, dumb Diddy had a problem with Big Gene riding outside the vehicles. Something wasn't right. People say I'm supposed to do that when they cash when they cash out me or something, bling, bling, baby. But no, nah, I'm just learning how to do it. I did it on a couple of things. But I appreciate the comment. Newsom and Animilu from Nigeria. He said, Gene, show me some love. No, Newsom. I'm not showing you no love. If I show you, what I'm, why am I showing you love, Newsom? I'm not even going to mention your name. <laughs> Newsom, my brother out in Nigeria. Like, Everybody talking about this war that the white folks is having over in um, what's that? What's that country next to Russia? What's that country next to Russia that they having that war right now? Enlightened mind. You got to understand the stuff that you're getting from these people may not be all correct. They only going to show, show you what they want to show you. So if you, if you don't get the official autopsy report, you can't deal with what happened. All right, I, I hope you're with Kirk, uh, April. Now leave me alone. George West out there in Virginia. What up with you, boy, boy? Thank you, sir. One thing about uh, Flex, I appreciate that, Flex. Flex, I appreciate that, but brother, this was sealed by uh, a federal, uh, this was sealed by a judge. And they know to open those documents up and to open that stuff up is gonna cause LA six, $700 million. And like the dude said, the uh, boss told him, I'm not gonna do that for no fat black drug dealing rapper. We're not gonna bring LAPD down for no fat black drug dealing rapper. Hmm. 
if he'd have been a fat white drug dealer rapper, he might have had a chance. <laughs> April Shadow looks just like my dad. My brother them tell me that all the time. It scares the shit out of me. Cause I had to feed my dad sherbet ice cream. Chill Willie D F W. Paige Dell wasn't as grimy as Wellston was when I was coming over there. You was a step above when you lived in Paige Dell, brother. <laughs> that's real talk production just j995 you probably would have loved y'all back furious styles for real la shooter jump man jump Wow, that's terrible that St. Louis is now the number one murder capital. That's crazy. Willie Brown, I don't understand what you're saying. You say you, you was some... Um, ignorant people back then for his safety. I don't understand what you mean by that, brother, but it's whatever. This was, uh, Patty was saying about the guy who, and I, I said that in the last show, Patty, when he heard the shot, he should have went forward big, cause, pow, put your foot on the gas. But he did a whole nother thing. Dom 34, grand rising to you too. Oh yeah. Let me see how far I'm going. I'm just gonna, cause I'm probably behind. Filipino Black over there in London. What's up with you? Yes, yeah, Sean Bell. It's been 25 years. So Puff was working behind the scenes, getting everything done while he was telling everybody for the two weeks nobody saw him. Two weeks. Nobody saw him. That he was asked the people who did the video. Y'all think I'm hating because I'm telling y'all. The guy came on air and he said, that week the big got killed. Puck was threatening him that they had to get that hypnotized video out. See, I didn't say notorious. Name that fucking tune. Eddie Kane, Three Heartbeats. Ooh, 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 ooh. He died, right? <laughs> My man Eddie Kane is right here alive from H Town. <laughs> no, nah, he he wasn't he, he wasn't hanging around him. Not at all. He wasn't hanging around him. Not at all. Sean is in jail for what? Somebody said Sean is in jail. We don't know that to be true. I got a few Nelly stories. He's not good. He he a homeboy. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. 
we get enough bad rap from the loop. Fewer styles. You just start seeing me because I've told plenty of Sean stories. Stop it, bro. You, you're showing that you don't even fuck with uh, the Lou like that. You don't fuck with your Lou people. You're from the Lou, right? You asked me shit I already talked about, bro. If you just got used to it, get to the program. Go back and look at some of the shit, bro. It helps me. I talks about all that. Wayne Barrow will never let Miss Wallace come on my program. When in fact, I could probably drop her a line and ask her. But they read all her emails and they're going to tell her, no, don't do that, Miss Wallace. Travis Gobot, I knew it was Ukraine, but I didn't want to say it because they show a video of people laying down like they were dead and a couple of people are moving in the video and they catch it on the back of the camera because they saying stuff ain't like we've seen. Stuff ain't like a scene over there, but yet and still, in the last year or so, over 6 million Africans have been murdered and killed. And nobody has done anything about it. Who's April Fool's? P-O-M-P, Luke P. M. Paul, it rhymes with unpain. EXLV322. I told Kim Poor stories too, sweetheart. What I think about Kim Poor to death and It's hard to speak on it. I wouldn't say that because she did have a problem, because she did have a situation. God, allergies that it was easy do you get it and if you don't i ain't saying <laughs> Nah, you're wrong, Leon Gentry. Puff probably found it's probably found the contract Big had for 62 and wanted him killed because his music would be under bad. Nah, his music wouldn't have been under bad boy. That's why. <laughs> his, 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 music, his music wouldn't have been under bad boy. He had his own label with Un, Undius, Un Entertainment. So it wouldn't happen that way. Justin, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let you rock with this one. Knowing what you know about Biggie's death, is there anything you have changed? One, I wouldn't have helped the police. Uh, not take Big to the uh, jail the day him and Charlie Baltimore got that fight. I would change that. He'd have went to jail because that would have stopped him from going to that party. 
two, when Puff said, Gene, you ain't got to go, I was I'd have stood right there and said, yo, y'all could go there if y'all want to. I'm telling y'all, I would change that. I wouldn't have went. I wouldn't have went. Niggas would have blamed me and said all kind of crazy shit, but I wouldn't have went. You get it? I would have been like, y'all can go if y'all want to, big. But I'm telling y'all, one of y'all niggas going to come. And some, All y'all might not come back. And plus y'all going, ain't nobody got no guns, and I ain't let nobody take my gun with them. I would have did that. That's the only thing I would have changed. Now, if you want to get deep on it, I'd have said F you and I'd have rolled on the side of the door a Biggs car. But I was going to pay for the puff. Big them couldn't afford, couldn't afford me, to be honest. They couldn't afford me. They couldn't afford me at all. It's just the truth. <laughs> Michael, Michael said, when I was talking about the Ukraine shit, Mike said, the fake body video, I saw it. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I appreciate that, bro. Yo, check it out. That war, listen here, accurate answer media. That war has not been a month. These white people, I don't care. I got white people on my show I love. I, I respect them and everything. When I sing about these white, when I say stuff like that, it's not the regular people that we see every day. It's the people that control the oil, the people that control the financial situation. This is the people I'm talking about. We got enough oil stored away that it can last six years and we don't have to pump another gas thing. Six to 10 years stored away. We can get oil from Venezuela. We can get oil off the coast of Mexico. We can get oil from fucking Africa. Do you understand that? This is Biden's way of the steel and the oil refineries and the people, his supporters, to put money in their pockets. And it's just the truth. Because why would he stop that pipeline? Oh, accurate answer media. Won't you tell these folks? Thank you, brother. Now, if y'all got to go somewhere, y'all can go ahead, man, because I'm here. I'm drinking this big-ass cup of coffee. Eating a Nutra. It ain't nothing nutrition about it. Either. It's just like a Fig Newton. <laughs> so, Puff. Nightmares was phony and baloney on a pickle sandwich. Now they turn to mental net health, D nice. Court NYC. Thank you for telling them. They said, um, that's what Aaron said. They 
That's crazy. T. Paris. Yeah, Tom Wop, that same game. If I ask him to come up on the show, he'll 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 come on the show if he wanna be seen. I fucks with Tom Wop. Mike Owens, aka Mike Cock, he'll come up on it. He's gonna do a same game documentary. Mars Nedihu from East Africa. What up with you, boy, boy? So I'm asking you, did I have a Nelly story? A Nelly story? <laughs> there you go, right there. <laughs> Yeah. Black's Rob story is Freddie P story and any artist that dealt with Bad Boy. I ain't speaking on that, Corey, NYC. I'm about to do a big movie about Big. It's going to be off the chain, like a docuseries. Somebody should have told Shaquille Stewart he should have hired me. I bet you Diddy wouldn't have fucked with him. DC, how many bodies? I, I thought you, you, you're going to think stuff like that, DC, when, especially when God puts you in certain places. I met Tupac a couple of times. Unlike some of these motherfuckers on the internet be talking about, they never watch a car. They, they, they knew Pac, they was this, they was that. Get out of here. Felonia, that. Felonia, and they come in and talk about me like a dog, say all kind of crazy shit. Never met nobody, never did nothing with nobody. And all you subscribers out here, man, when y'all find out somebody is telling lies, somebody is making up shit, listen to me. This clown made up a whole story about me and C's and the Muslim and all like that. Yo, listen here. Choke said I shouldn't give him no attention. When y'all found out somebody is lying, outright lying to y'all, coming out here and, and, and wasting y'all time with they bullshit, y'all should unsubscribe and it'll teach him. Get you some business. This guy said. Jay Carter. I know y'all dying for y'all. That Kirk Burrell interview. <laughs> what my man say? What my man say? Been waiting and debating for oh so long. Starving like Marvin for a Cool J song. When y'all see that one, I'm going to do some Vlad shit on y'all. I'm going to do, do that like Vlad video. Get y'all 
two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, five and a half minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Do some order the dialogue on y'all. But I'm going to put the big gene twist to it. <laughs> Here. Yo, let me just tell y'all something about the Mary J. Blige. And she, oh, hold up. Visual and when. Mary J. Blige is playing King Do all her new album money. As well as she should. Mary J. Blige knew Ken Do wasn't shit because he wasn't taking care of his kids when he was working up there with Flavor Unit and the whole nine yard. She knew that. With his baby mom and the whole nine yard, she knew that. But because she married, she put on the cape and say that bum ass nigga. I don't like him. I was about to beat his ass. He didn't know. I was about to beat him and Steve Stout ass at up at um in New Orleans at the Essence Fest. Steve would have said anything out the way, I'd have flew both of them niggas' heads there. Cause I had I was Dougie Fresh man gonna try to run over to me over to me. I leave your Dougie is like that now, nigga. I saved your life, Dougie. Oh, Dougie too. Oh no, that's my man. That's my man. You ain't gotta tell that nigga. Cause if he breathe hard, he gonna find out. Sometimes I'll be having flashbacks, y'all. Y'all got to help me. <laughs> stay in the grace. <laughs> got to help me stay in the grace. We took, we took the, the car that me and Puff, hold on. What ride did you and Tone take when you gave chase on that fateful night? The car that Puff had, that Kenny was driving, that's the car we took. Kenny jumped in Biggs in them car. That's the car they took to the hospital. Him and Puff jumped in Biggs car. But me and Tone took the car that Puff, Kenny, me, and Tonin was in. Because Puff and Kenny had stayed out there with Big. Well, see... Proud, straight, eight, woman. See, she ain't got no picture up there. Look, hold up. I don't know if that's a woman or not. <laughs> Whoa, it was just darkness. <laughs> I ain't seen no picture of nothing. <laughs> Proud, straight, eight, woman. I'm sorry. You just didn't want to show your face, mama. Uh, if, you, if you are, mama. I don't know. Don't know these day. Me don't know nothing. Me no know nothing. Me didn't hear nothing. Me didn't say nothing. But uh <laughs> proud straight eight woman. Um big wasn't my principal, but if somebody father, somebody son, somebody cousin. Play brother, God brother, he's somebody. 
He was somebody to me. I liked the kid. We had, we really, because we always been at each other, you know, like on some, like big is the type of nigga he want to talk about everybody. And I was like, and I'd be like, yo, you looking at me? Or are you looking at me? You know, because one eye going this one. Eye. So, and me thinking I'm that dude too, and I'm puff bodyguard, and none of them niggas is that they know that I wreck shop. You understand? So they wasn't fucking with me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they do everything, but they still want to joke and have fun. And I come from snap, crackle, pop. Yo, we gonna snap on, we gonna snap on you to your crack. And if you crack, we gonna pop you. You understand? We know how to joke. You understand? I talk about you so bad how you crying collecting money. So we was that dude. You know what I'm saying? Big will come up in the room. I like yo, what up, handsome? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I'd be like, what up, handsome? <laughs> but niggas would, you know, Puff would be laugh. Certain people would laugh a lot. A lot of people were scared to laugh. I remember I was killing Puff one night. Killing him. Killing him. The nigga said, you broke-ass cop. You broke-ass cop. I said, dog. You talking about somebody broke? Nigga, I got to watch. You got to watch. I got cars, you got cars. I got jewelry, you got jewelry. You ain't got nothing that I don't have. Nigga, I got money. You talking about I got money. I said, well, take that money and fix all that green. Anybody who knew Puff around it, the nigga had grain green in the mouth. I said, take and fix all that green in your mouth, nigga. Go get an effort Niggas know what I'm talking with dentures. Go get an effort and just pop it in your mouth and just let it sizzle. You're going to want to swallow that. You're going to want to spit it out, but don't you spit it out. Just hold it and just let it bubble up. It'll clean all that green shit away. Niggas wasn't saying nothing. Niggas didn't laugh or say nothing. I said, you won't want to spit it out, but don't you spit it out. Let it just sizzle for a while. Get all that green shit. My shit green because I eat money. And then I said, stop. <laughs> Take it out your diet. <laughs> Yo, niggas wasn't laughing. That nigga Puff, when I call, I call, I say, Yo, Puff, I'm downstairs. Have somebody open the door because I got to be there Saturday morning to let ever, whoever you was sleeping with out and put them in a cab. <laughs> Wait for the cab to come. Flag the cab down. Put her in the cab. One of your New York favorite rappers. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> no, G haven't G ain't spoken about nothing. These niggas still want to go to Diddy parties. <laughs> Woo Pup 36 said, Fungus Mufo. Beat nuts. I gotta finish this this one beat nuts before I can go to any other kind of book and stuff like that. So Puff called me that morning and he said, when I was down to Yo Gene, I was sitting here in the bed thinking about what you said. Nigga, I was dying. I was dying, yo, nigga, you had me. I couldn't laugh in front of motherfuckers. He said, but I was, yo, that shit had me bug the fuck, y'all. He said, yo, Gene, you got to stop it. You cannot, and this is exact word. He said, yo, Gene, you cannot, he said, Gene, you cannot talk about me like that in front of people. I said, well, nigga, keep your mouth closed about me. You don't talk about me, I won't talk about you. Nigga, you open your mouth about me, nigga, I'm going to roast your ass. 
whether they laugh or not. Advocate Cornber, Car Car Carbon, she said he gonna wife up Miss Pleasant. Do it. <laughs> Watch what you ask for. <laughs> Yo, you got that shit fixed now. Jennifer had that nigga going to the show. This, this, I think it was a 79th or 72nd Street. Just Dennis, Dennis up there, straighten that shit out. I like different type of music, man, but one of my favorite groups is Journey. I like Queen music, Jodeci. I like ballads, man. I like ballads, Luther Vandross. I like ballads. Who are you? He said. What the fuck you doing up, player? <laughs> Taj, what up with you, boy? I'm up because my people overseas, it's about 11, 10, 11 o'clock up there, man. They deserve, you know, to get some of this. Yeah, I was, I was, I had to take something over to R. Kelly when he was. Uh, getting his heart braided by this young girl one night. Bigger, what up, boy? Just got in here? One of my moderators. Another one of my moderators. Just a blink. Taj just got a blink. <laughs> Damn. Now, they're getting older. Puff has gotten older. And some of this shit is hitting them hard, y'all. Cause now people are looking at him with the biggie eye. They looking at him with the biggie eye and they know the truth. People around him who knew me and knew what I was about. The Ed Lovers. The Irv Gotti's. The Fat Joes. They know. That he was wrong. When he said that. They didn't know. We were young. Nobody told us. He know he was lying. In fact, Joe know for this. Nigga, you had Big Gene. Big Gene was sawed off all, all, all through the city. Niggas wanted him to do everything. All money and good money. I was just telling this nigga shit. I was just telling dude this shit the other day. I had one of the top designers. And it's a story within itself. 
I had one of the top designers in New York City. Anybody remember Miguel? Be honest, y'all. Anybody remember Miguel? SP, yup. Anybody remember Miguel? Sean Jardine. Sean Jardine, I'm going to ask you because I'm going to post this. Tell me what Miguel did and tell me who was Miguel. Anthony Fister, I'm gonna tell you about it. Okay, somebody, I'm gonna give her the line because you ain't saying an SP. Hold on. SP, what up with you, mama? What else did he do, SP? What he was known for. Not today. Late on, Jaden. I'm doing a call in. You just got to catch the show late on. Do you know what else he did, SP? Exodus, I don't know. Okay. That, that's being honest, my mom. Hold on, I ain't trying to block you. Nope. Put a star by your comment. Miguel was one of the top fashion designers here in New York City for street apparel, women's stuff, and men's stuff. Now, he used to get parties that was crazy. All the bad black women, all the bad mommies, everything. I'm telling you. He called me one Sunday. Police know this because the police called me back. Big Gene, I need you. I need you, Big Gene. I want you to do security for him. I'm doing this party, blase this, whoop, they whoop, 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 whoop. Off the blue. How you get my number? You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I'm gonna give you a call back, let you know what's up. You know what my rate is, right? Whatever, Gene, whatever. All right? I know Captain, I know Shahid, Derek Holmes. So now I make some phone calls. I make some phone calls. And they told me don't fuck with him, Gene. Three of the same top people I knew told me don't fuck with this kid. This kid's supposed to be a fashion designer. Right? I was told don't fuck with them by three top people. God bless the dead.
that night before his party, they found him slumped over dead with $45,000 on his desk. Somebody blew his head off. Not at all. Anthony Jennings, thanks for that cash out, brother. Appreciate you. All right. He was out doing 5,001 all of them. Miguel was the person to go to. SP, that's what happened to him the night of his party. D Rock. D Rock Nightmares is a little different. Him and Big was like this. Or oh, we thought they was like that. But from the surface, him and D Rock was like this. Him Big and D Rock was like this. And I, today, I still don't believe that D-Rock knew what he was doing when T Puff took him off to be with Sally Richardson and their girlfriend. Now. And he came back and he convinced Big He convinced Big, Aaron Person, Pearson. He convinced Big to go to that party. His nightmare is a little different. I, I know Puff, yo, you gotta get your man here, man. We gotta do this. He's showing, showing, he tried to be telling D Rock. Yo, we gotta do this, man. This is big for us. D Rock stayed going all day with him, showed him a good time. Man, you do this for me, I got you, I got you for life. But we got to get to this party because up until that point, they ain't going nowhere. Have y'all seen the biblical portrayal of Biggie Small? And I said, when D-Rock got back to the car, they wasn't they wasn't hiding behind the car. The nigga was down the block. When D-Rock got back to the car, he grabbed his head and he said, oh, shit, they got my man. He still envisions that in his nightmare. Because they plans were not to. Do you hear me? They plans was not to fuck with Puff at first. Lucy's told y'all that with his lying ass. Coffee cold in the motherfucker. I can't even see no likes, April. For real? 
because I don't see the uh, YouTube thing. I only got two likes, April, and it's 6 a.m. in the morning, and I've been on this motherfucker for an hour and 20 minutes. April, if the likes don't go up, Ma, let me know. And I'm going to get off this shit because they're not liking me. Now, I'll find somebody else in the morning. I'll find somebody like 11, 12 o'clock to see if they like me enough. So let me know, April, in a few. All right, either text me the number and we'll watch a call. She said, Big Um asked him to take the left. Big Um got to go to work, April. You ain't got no job. You work at home. <laughs> oh, part, uh, part actually, hold on. Hold on. He said, I got 138 likes, April. They're going to say, I got 200. All right. That's cool. April said, I only had two. Black Queen Jack said, I got 272. Well, that's enough for that then, Abel. We good now. No, I wouldn't do that, bro. I don't go behind dudes I know. And if I have, I didn't know. The girl wasn't being honest with me. Derek Holmes, was you knocking C Baltimore, Charlie Baltimore down the big nah uh not at all. I guess he's saying that because D Rock was knocking Lil Kim down or some stuff like that. I don't know why he said that, Derek, but no, I don't get down like that, man. There's too many women out here. Too many fine women. You don't have to go behind, brother. That makes you a creep to me. T. Cook, thank you. I don't know how to get it off. There I go. I don't know. So now, I see one of the junior mafia at the gym. And he said, yo, Rock is smoking his life away. I mean, drinking his life away. I said, what? He said, yeah, that's all Rock do is drink now, bro. Nightmares. Can't get to sleep at night. When you do get to sleep, all you do is see your mistakes and the shit you did to somebody that you love. Shit is crazy, real crazy. It's just water, man. His nightmare is going to cause mental health, too. I got a water cooler right here. No 
Kim was Big's girl. Rock started dealing with her. A lot of craziness. It's caused by your nightmares and make you do crazy things. Because you know you was in the wrong. You have nightmares because you know you are in the wrong. Speak Your Clout Podcast. What up with you, boy? Thanks for coming in and sharing your time with me. Larry Williams, you too. Black Queens Jack, we've been here for a long time, mama. I don't, I don't want to disrespect you by calling you mama. That's okay. Miss... I turned to see, I'm facing this way. I, I don't know if you can understand. I've got my legs sideways. I'm six, seven, this asshole and put his seat all the way back because he's mad at me because I'm arguing about being on the outside of the car. So my thing said, when Tony said, yo, they point the gun at big, I did like this and I opened up the door. We heard the first shot when I when I opened up the door because I'm trying to get my fucking legs from out of here because I'm, I'm going, I'm going, bro, I'm going. You got to understand, James, I'm going. Heard that first shot. Bow, Kenny guns that shit, bro. <laughs> Dion Mofa, he said, Dion, you ain't right for that, man. Come on, Dion. Dude, stop that bullshit, Dion. He's talking about Gene shouting your name out. It's like Brucey B. <laughs> Uptown, downtown, all around town. It's the Bruce. It's the world famous Bruce B. <laughs> Remember that dog? <laughs> Uptown, round town, all around town. It's the Bruce. <laughs> that shit was funny in the motherfucker. Yo, Reggie Baylock did get chased down the block. Jumped out of his car too. Yeah. Paul was already out the car with the nine on him, stopping Big's man in the white car from turning into there. Oh, I seen some. I'm gonna hit me with 99. I mean, a super sticker. Marlo G K V. Thank you, brother. It all counts. It goes to charity. Let's see this right here. See right there. I'm doing this right quick. I'm learning as I go. Cause people are asking for it. I don't know why. Send me 99 cent. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, bro. 
It's all appreciated. <laughs> uh. Need no more. You better be glad you got that. Yeah. You better be glad you got that. <laughs> back to my comments. Oh, here we go right here. Sean Macklin. Macklin. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate that, bro. Jay Carter. Yeah, he was going to get over the pass on the bid because he had to go on with him and Mace. You got to understand. Huh? Let me put that up there, Jay. Can I put that up there? Jay, how can I put that up there? I want to put that as a comment. That came from YouTube, Jay. If I see it on here, I'm going to put Jay said uh, what amazes him is a lot of people don't know how quickly Puff seemed to get over the passing of big. You're right. Kev, I need to heat up this. Kev, I need to heat up this coffee for real. Yo, Howard Cunningham. Yo, what's crazy is that somebody seen sent me. An uh, Instagram that Unique was on some hip hop show, and the dude said, "Gene said, Gene Deal said, you said this, did I not?" He said, "Yeah, I told him to vest up." But I'm, I'm gonna get that in the earlier show. Uh, but that shit was crazy to me. That shit was crazy. That shit. That shit made it to that show like that. Yeah, 15 the bars. Them niggas trying to drink their guilt away. Steve Rush, 23. I thought he was. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. The way the way it happened. Paradox of TV. <laughs> True. <laughs> yo, D Rock did have better sense, man, but sometimes your dog that a nigga dollar. And that's why I say. Don't let a don't let don't let a dollar make your sense. Don't make don't let a dollar make your sense. All money ain't good money. See, that's what make different men. See, a pimp. All money is good good money with him, cause a pimp ain't turning down down nothing but his collar. Different types of men, bro. Certain men, you can't buy them. Certain men, you ain't going to buy. You ain't even going to try them because it's a disrespect. It's a disrespect. What you got to say, April? That's my publicist. It came up. It says Sean McLean. I don't know how to get the cash app down, April. That 
that comes up on uh, that comes up on um, April. That comes up on the stream uh, the stream thing. I don't know who. I don't know who I did was. Somebody hacked them cell phones, someone vaccinated. I don't know who idea that was. It wasn't on Puff Truck. It was on Big's truck, though. That shit was spooky when somebody hit me with that one, bro. And that had to happen, bro, when it was in the garage. You hear me? When they put those cars in the garage, that had to happen then. Because at the house, it wasn't like that. That shit wasn't on there at the house. Maybe that was a car they wasn't supposed to hit. And because we blew the light, they said, like I'll tell you, man, it's just because we blew that light. Big was a casualty of war. So D Rock was nightmares went on. Because when he went to prison and came out, so he don't know this. I knew a couple of guys that was locked up with him. And what the guys told me was, is that Lawrence, thanks for that cash out, brother. I appreciate you. Well, a couple of brothers told me, yo, that nigga D-Rock, you say, yo, Puff gonna take care of me. I ain't worrying about nothing. Now, this is funny to me and this is a known fact because there's documentation out there the dude that's with puff right now corey was getting heated at puff because puff wasn't taking care of what he was supposed to take care of when he was locked up but then d-rock said i know puff gonna take care of him when the dude who actually started Bad Boy with Puff and was putting up the money for all the artists who had nine, sixteen of life sentences and got uh, a well, no, it's not he got not acquitted, but he had uh, pardoned by Obama, got out of jail. Now Puff takes care of him, and Puff gave him. The PC gave him his company, gave him all the stuff that he's supposed to have. But D Rock was so sure when he was behind bars because he told a couple people. Montreal Ross, thanks for that cash out. Blessing to you too, sir. You get it? You get that dimples right? Yo, don't say that shit, Elijah. Elijah said, <laughs> Elijah said, Gene, you're the only security alive since 97. <laughs> nigga said, I gotta kill that nigga. <laughs> Can't hide him around. <laughs> Elijah, come on, man. Don't put that out there. No, nah, man. Zo, look what Zo said. Nah, bro. We already talked about 
D Rock, we already talked about Diddy, but Lil C should have nightmares too, dog. Lil C Southern California. No, Flex, I said Paul was with an Inglewood cop. I didn't say Paul was an Inglewood cop. I said Paul was with an Inglewood cop. It's that St. Louis draw, dog. Paul was with an Inglewood cop. Paul and 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 an Inglewood cop. Paul with the cop. He's behind me. Directly behind Lil C's was on punishment that whole week. You see, he wasn't in the hypnotized video. Motherfucker about I don't believe Gene because he said the wrong video. Fuck his name. <laughs> I say stupid shit sometimes. I say, I say nigga, this ain't name my name that tune. <laughs> the dope hypnotized motherfucker uh notorious. <laughs> Y'all remind me to take my medicine this morning. Because I know some of y'all took y'all my medicine at 7.30 last night, right? <laughs> what I mean by that, y'all? I got to spark my people with. What I mean by that? Took their medicine at 7.30. No, Jay Glove alcohol. No. Paradox TV, he said. Yo, Sean Cotton, fuck man, yo, listen to me. No, nah, I, I haven't been asleep, y'all. I was sitting back just going through shit in my mind, man. 25 years ago, I was there. I had to pull that kid out the car, Paradox TV. You feel me, brother? See, I don't have a problem with getting nobody no shine up in here. Because we all, you know, somewhere family, bro. It's these cats out here that... Yo, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do it. Man, I don't give a shit about this. This is my therapy. Pocket Valley, 1974. Thank you, SP. Crazy. When I say you took the medicine at 7.30, Everybody, listen to me. Y'all smarter than that. It's official that all meds that are given to the psych patient has to be given to them at 7.30. That's when you hear somebody say that they 7.30. That's the code in which they supposed to be getting their medicine and to say that they are crazy. <laughs> Wheezy baby said <laughs> crazy. <laughs> too much soul said it too. All right. Shout out 
She said, what do I think about the recent charges of the Apple killer? It's gonna make them famous. It's gonna make them famous. But what happened was is that they had to hold off. They wanted to do an investigation to see that was anybody else tied or was it that just, just that situation that happened between Apple and him over his girlfriend. Apple had more game than Kellogg's had flakes. And he was talking to your girl nine times out of 10, he was fucking your girl. Cause he gonna pay to play, he gonna be, cause he was poor. Dude got mad, you understand? And look where he at now. And this girl gonna be somewhere giving the pussy out of both sides of the panties. And that's the facts. But you killed another man for that? Wow. Excuse me, ladies, I wasn't trying to disrespect. I gotta find out how you do this. April, leave me alone. I'm talking about tell Queen Lotus happy birthday. Yeah, I'm trying to do a show. What are you talking about? Tell Queen Lotus happy birthday. Why we gotta tell Queen Lotus happy birthday? Huh? Tell Queen Lotus happy birthday. Hi, Miss Dickinson. Miss Dickinson, she want me to tell Queen Lotus happy birthday. I tell her I ain't got time to do that. Don't you see I'm doing a show? Muhammad Abdul Ahmad Kehalak, alhamdulillah. Get back to my show, man. Want me to come on, on, tell Queen Lotus happy birthday. Sorry about that, man. That's that's one of that's my publicists. You know, we write my writing stuff up. You know, checking people online for me and all like that. I'm gonna tell Queen Lotus happy birthday. Happy birthday, Queen Lotus. I'm just messing with you, mama. <laughs> it's your birthday. Get busy. It's your birthday. <laughs> Queen Lotus. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Yeah, it was one hell of a night, man. But little C's, his nightmares. At the big, put him on ice all that week. He come out and say some real dumb shit. What did he say? I, I, I'm gonna show. I'm, I'm gonna show you how my followers is. Yo, can y'all do me a favor, man? If y'all want to hear stories about other people today, y'all come back some other time. Please don't um, interfere with the channel like that. I appreciate it, man. 
Apple stories, stories about this, that, and the, and the third. I ain't see you thank me. I'm talking about thanks, April. Thanks, Anthony. I feel a lot better because I was feeling bad. I was feeling bad. I think I needed some medical attention. My head, everything was painting. I was aching. Is there a doctor in the house? It's Dr. DaCosta. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. DaCosta. How you doing? Doctor said, happy birthday to you too, Queen Lotus. Everybody saying, everybody getting on the Queen Lotus bandwagon now. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Get busy. Oh, my God. No, nah, Tony, I don't, I don't work anymore. Mr. Wheeler, how you doing? Big up to you too, sir. Damn, Nicholas said he was only two when Big was killed. Salute, Nicholas. That's what I'm talking about, Queen Lotus. She the queen and I'm the king. 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 Hey, king and queen. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Hey, king and queen. <laughs> I told y'all this is my therapy. <laughs> All right, McLean, what up with you? Always, McLean. Always, sir. I will may work. May the Rocky. T Paz, you're right. Today is about big. So Lil C say that dumb shit out of his mouth. Nightmares behind that. Go ahead on with that cop shit, Gene. Go ahead on with that cop shit, Gene. That nigga in bed like this. Go ahead on with that cop shit, Gene. Go ahead on with that cop shit, Gene. 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 Ah! <laughs> Patton, hard as Patton. <laughs> Go ahead with all that cop shit, Gene. <laughs> April sent me 10. Thank you, April. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a story. Yo, April knew my father and my brother before she knew me. <laughs> April came up in my father's shop. <laughs> and somebody said, yo, she fine, but 
I think she pigeon toed or something like that. <laughs> Cause she had a funny walk on her with her fine stuff. <laughs> and April felt some kind of way. And my father said, baby, don't feel no kind of way. Cause if you didn't walk like that, you would have been straight perfect and cock. God didn't want you to be perfect. We're going to blame it on God because he didn't want you to be perfect. <laughs> My father told her that. Yo, babe, we're going to put that on God because he didn't want you to be perfect. <laughs> Sunshine, blue sky, please go away. The girl I love has gone away. Dr. DaCosta. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, I saw for a living God, brother. Jason. Jason, thank you. If you, anybody asks me these questions, I'm going to answer them. I'm going to put them out there. I didn't see anything. I didn't see no blood at all, Jason. None whatsoever. Even we got to back to the place. I ain't seen no blood. That shit is crazy. When we pulled out the car, I didn't see no blood. That shit was crazy. I don't think Kenda had anything to do with that. No, I never said she did. James. No, I didn't say that. Oh, my God. I don't know what you meant by that. What's his name? Heed. But since I'm going to take it, we're going to do this to you. How about that? Stupid. This is my show. Muhammad, I don't want to start a podcast, bro. I'm good like this. I know some guys and people have asked me to start a podcast. Now. Good morning, Uncle Gene. Finally caught you live. Much love from Germany. She says she's from Germany. Were you at Mannheim? <laughs> Are you in Mannheim, Germany? Aster? Can you tell us where you at in Germany? Ted Rivers on the score out there in Charleston, South Kirkalecki. Some people say I was only three when this happened. Furious times, I was only. No wonder you getting those questions like that, Furious. Talking about you was only five. <laughs> Morris Knight, check out the clip of Snoop and Howard Stern. How did he ask Snoop why you kill Biggie? Oh my God. McLean, when was that? Can you can you send me that, McLean? Coach, send me that. Can you see, bro, please, please, please. I was there. I want to see that. I want to see Snoop face and everything. What do you talk about, Margaret? Margaret, now I thought you was a very intellectual type, bright young woman with the first question you asked. And you said you don't know what the topic is now? 
Oh my God, Marvin. Me, I'm easy to contact. Give you my phone. My phone number's out there. Look at my YouTube description thing. Everything you're gonna contact me, I'm right there. Don't call me this morning. You gotta call me at the eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock show, or whatever. I'm asking, it's a call-in show, and I'm answering all calls. I'm going to answer all calls, Sandra Corley. Ain't that right, Miss Dickerson? Nikki. No, the the things is getting out there with the Vlad and the big platforms. Oh, sorry, tired now. Hey, Gene. Kenny B, what up? I've been on this joint for two hours, man. Gene, can you imagine being security for? Punch drill rapper in 2002. Why are these dudes still living in the projects and won't stay out? <laughs> Yo, Paradox TV, you gotta be, if you're a drill rapper, you gotta have your joints in there like this. If you security for the drill rapper, you gotta be like this. <laughs> you gotta be like this. <laughs> Huh? I don't know about that. Thank you, Dr. DeCosta. for helping the YouTube channel. Only one law, only one law. Wally Will, what you want? Why didn't you do security? Hold up. Why didn't you do security for Master P? Flex, come on, I told you don't ask questions about that, but I know P. And P is cool. P was all right. P played for the basketball team for Black Hand. And I was the coach on that team when he played in the Rutgers. He didn't need no security. Is that Scarice, Charisse, Scarice Griggs? How you doing, Miss Griggs? Pleasure. And thank you for that super chat. Yeah, let's respect Big and have his therapeutic process like April with her smart ass said. Therapeutic process. <laughs>
Her and Snoop is first cousin? For real? It's about where everybody knew she was dating Mace. Mace sold that. Getting head from Brandy. <laughs> I guess she got mad at me. I asked her what part of Germany she got. Like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> Hi, Jasmine Robinson. You have a wonderful blessed day too, Miss Robinson. That's my family name. Dr. Acosta. What's a chaotic and traumatic night that was? You were very strong. No, I ain't Doc. <coughs> no, I ain't Doc. <coughs> I might need some help, Doc. <coughs> I might need you, Doc. Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> okay, Dr. Kyle. I'm sorry. 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 I'll just play. I'll just play. I'll just play. I'll, I'm, I'm going to leave you alone. I ain't going to do that no more. I ain't going to do that no more. I heard somebody in Texas had the whole incident, but I don't know how true it is. But that shit y'all see online is not true. And the people in Texas could tell you that. That shit is not the way they cut it up and put it out there. Nah, wasn't like that. <laughs> I'm gonna get some more water. Hold up. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm not gonna be doing this often, but. Um, I definitely got to make somebody famous. See, this is kind of dumb shit that when we just tell people this is about big, they'll push some shit up like this. Bruh. Go to one of those Turkish baths. It's a place, it's a couple of joints in New York City on 57th or 54th Street and stuff like that. Clubs and bars around there. And if you want to know if he gay, wait for him there. <laughs> And have your bells with you. <laughs> Dell Blanks, yes, you're correct. He was bleeding on the inside, brother. That fat stopped that from uh, the blood from you know coming out. I guess once the bullet went in, it's crazy. Oh my God, April. <sighs> she just dropped. Oh my God. April wants me to ask y'all to drop y'all favorite big verse or song. <sighs> Does it matter? April, does it matter? Mm. 
Let me cool. I always found it weird that we haven't seen an interview of Harry Billis trying to clear his name if he claims he wasn't involved. Because the people who paid him told him to shut the hell up. How you do this? I, ain't, I wasn't trying to put that. But Steve, thank you for that super chat. I appreciate you, bro. There you go. Doctor jumped on that notorious dog. Doctor, you like the notor. See, that's what that's what's wrong with them. Them good girls. They like the bad guys. They don't give us good guys a chance. They like the bad guys. Like Miss Johnson. Hold on, let me put it up here. She started it off. The notorious dog. Federal agent may mad because I'm flag flagrant. <laughs> Adele. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just looking at this, y'all. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes I got to read the stuff. Somebody said they playing big right now. Es 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 Escobar gang. All right, let's stay with that Escobar gang instead of want to know if Puff gay or not. Does it matter? No, Flex, that wasn't the picture. You got confused. I'm talking about the cop. The cop them showed me that picture uh, that night. Mike Kowalski, thanks for that cash out. Appreciate you. Peg lost his leg and went on found his mama dead, y'all. Eloise Nurse, it's been a minute. Somebody said they like sky's the limit. A victory wasn't big. I think that's some shit Puffin put together. Go right here. 
Ten Crack Commandment. Boom! 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 Victory. Mm. J Prince. Okay, Pop had, let's say, in the top five labels in the 90s, and all of them artists, how many are really millionaires right now? Talking about Pop artists? None. I don't know why this gene, why Big and them didn't get any guns while they was in Cali. Because if they knew Big and them was around, probably if they didn't have some security with them, the cops would know that they probably had guns because they was in Cali. So you had to have security with the guns. Huh, yo, I'm steady yawning, y'all, and I'm falling asleep, getting tired, but I'm here. <laughs> Let me go here. I remember when the video of Juicy came out, players after the same one with him and Kim, another one, take crack of man. What happened was is that y'all got to understand when Big used to get Puff a hit, he would get Arm a hit. without his publishing. <laughs> Brownstone. Let me see what I got right here. I gotta catch up. Frankie E. I'm working on it, Frankie. I got you. It's gonna be out before the summer. I know that. Oh! She tried to go in. She tried to go in. Look at her. As a licensed professional counselor, I suspect you suffer from PTSD. You've been through a lot of trauma. Take your 730 meds, prayers, love. Then she tried to clean it up with prayers and love. Margaret Busetta with my God, I don't need no meds and my prayers are in order. Thank you, you licensed professional counselor. <laughs> Look at April. She's gonna come out with her. I'm sitting here in the crib dreaming about Lear Jets and Coops. The way salt shoots and how they sell records like soup. Look at this. Why you didn't tell Biggie that Puff was stepped on him? I think I didn't say anything because Puff was my principal at the time. Puff was saying gang at the time. 
and me and Big Dem wasn't that close for me to even tell him that and fuck my money up with Puff. And that's to be totally honest. Yeah, Puff said, the city said. I saw him go, yo, Big, when you left the Soul Train Awards with uh, Pop, Puff said, I don't give a fuck if Pop got to die. I don't give a fuck if Big got to die. He said your name, Big. I wasn't going to I wasn't gonna do that. Puff was mad. He was upset. I didn't know it was some, and y'all going to look at this in a certain way. I didn't know that it was some self-fulfilling prophecy that this dude was saying about Big. That was some self-fulfilling prophecy. And I didn't know that. You understand? Gene, do you think Biggie was? Uh, I just think Big got caught up in, I won't say a blood sacrifice. He said, thank you. He said, do you think Biggie was? No, I don't think he's a blood sacrifice. I figured that the people who tried to kill Puff took Big instead because they couldn't get Puff. And I'm not saying that it's because I did some more super duper type of security thing like that. It's luck, baby. All about luck. Uh huh. He ain't watching this right now. And get his back blown out. <laughs> 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 Having fun. He was supposed to. I'm just talking about King Musa wax on, wax off. <laughs> And Moose said, Puff Daddy ain't thinking about him. Vid 06, you are uh, straight up. I've never said. Insinuation is not saying, bro. I insinuated and led you there. But I never said it because I wouldn't say it because Miss Jones didn't want me to say it. So I never said it. I heard you say, Wolf is Diddy's son. Real father. He do look like a dark-skinned wolf. See, you, you even got it wrong. So that's how I know. You ass backwards. <laughs> Stop it, brother. Never said it. I couldn't say it and I wouldn't say it because what Miss Jones had told me. Gene, don't 
Don't don't insinuate that. Let me give you some brushes. Said Gene, don't insinuate that. That's what she told me. And I didn't. No, she said don't say that. It's got Samuel Britt. It's gotten kind of harder because I don't have the responsibilities I used to have. Kenny Mack, what's up with you, boy? I don't know why. I don't know why. No, uh -uh. it was other crews, not the same game. The same game only moved like that when Alpo was involved. Samuel Britt, thank you for that cash out. I mean, that super chat. Tiara, why you say that? Prove it, Tiara. Post something to look like it. Yeah, Stefan got his shit right back, though. No. Johnny Bravo, yeah, we're getting early vibes, brother. Black Milk 300, thanks for, uh, good morning, chat. I don't have no feelings at all, brother. You had to ask the people who was trying to kill him. <laughs> he said, why was Pup the intended target? Yeah, I asked people who were trying to kill him. Y'all listen to Nikki. Yep. Yeah. I'm starving because I started eating bad.
two and a half hours. So now we know what Puff, D Rock, and Lil C's nightmares are about and why they have a nightmare. You can get with Tony Yo. You can get with the same game when this new documentary come out. Mike Owens, his son actually uh, was the lead dancer for Beyonce for years. Hold on. I got to post this. Excuse me, y'all. This is a good question right here. Samuel Britt, what do you think that your book will bring to the hip hop community? Such an educated question, Samuel Britt. I think that it would bring acknowledgement of an individual's journey and growth in a tumultuous time and still was able to keep his sanity and not have nightmares. I'm fucking with you, Samuel. And was able to keep his sanity and still struggle to do what he was supposed to do and making sure that not only he took care of himself, but the people around him. And bring a lot of damn stories y'all ain't know about. <laughs> Nay, nay. It was parked at the light, nay, nay. I knew preacher. Soon, Sherelle. No, he didn't see the shooter. Virgil said, yo, Big Gene, you never talked about how you felt when Puff released all the Missing You tributes to Big. I heard Puff already pre-recorded those. Virgil, I did speak about it. I said, how you going to uh, say you love somebody? And how you going to say that you miss somebody this that and the third and you was doing the shit that you was doing so i spoke on it now puff had his head now after the first shot puff did his head like that you don't know what the hell are you talking about 
He didn't know what the hell he was talking about. He just talked out the side of his neck just to have something to say. Don't speak on everybody's shit. Stay in your lane. Kevin Williams, good morning at the Ford plant. My sister worked there. He said, good morning. I'm eating bad, man. Haven't been asleep. Wow. Mustafa talking about my, my real name is Kevin, too. Y'all could be brothers. <laughs> Same father. I spoke on that master of zero. Hmm. Hear what April said? He made that shit into a profession. Thanks, Paradox TV. Damn, webcam chat come hot. Webcam chat come hot. Girls and boys video chat. Yeah, right. Go over there if you want to. If you're somewhere getting naked. <laughs> if you somewhere have you strawberry naked. Yes, sir. Thank you, DRK, the legend. Yeah, Erevan. I was up all night, so I, yeah, I was eating them. I just ate a couple of those chips. I'm fucked up for that. Someone's calling me. This is what I'm going to do to my book. I'm gonna buy my first 5,000 books. And I'm gonna put them up for a 
price and shipping and handling. Divine Rick, thanks for that super chat. Appreciate you, brother. And that's what I'm gonna do. Jamojis Jean with the SAT. Weird? <laughs> Bird, word? Don, what up with y'all from that Kakalaki? <laughs> That's some bullshit. Pooch is about five two, bro. He couldn't even reach over the door. But anyway. He's not going to do that, Flex. Did you hear Puff say, yo, big, he said, yo, y'all think he don't love me? He loved me. All these guys be portraying like they somebody or they don't like the person and all like that. That'd be a bunch of bullshit. Keith, clapping back and hitting someone and not hitting the target is two different things. A cop just got arrested here in New York City and is being charged for shooting at a fleeing car. Now, I'm saying that to say this, sir. Q Rock, what up with you, boy? I'm saying this to say this. I made every effort to protect Big. Akbaro, Yisha, I made every effort to protect him when I was with him. After we blew the light, if you shoot down the block and hit somebody, I was trying to get the killer. How y'all gonna arrest me? He shot big. I was trying to get the killer. The persons who had, I would say, a better chance was the security Paul offered and the cop, Reggie Blaylock, whatever his name was, from out there. They had a better chance than anybody. You were an athlete, so the trip, the training will come easy. Mr. Unknown Black, I appreciate that, brother.
Oh, they made the tourney this year? Michael Giles, he said my uh, old school made the tourney this year. Get out of here. I got to check that out. I want some tickets. <laughs> I know they come to the East Coast. I got to give me some tickets. Oh, no, I can't go nowhere. You can't go nowhere in New York City unless you got the shot. Up, peekaboo twenty two. I'm not gonna answer that because what happens is is that you allegedly just somebody doing something, and I'm not gonna be liable for that. Yeah, but Tom, what I'm saying is I'm gonna get five thousand copies, then I'm gonna do the pre order. And then it's going to it's going to take thirty days to get your money, get your book. I don't care. Don't pre don't order it then. Don't pre order it. Then on the day I do it, on the day I sell sell the books, thirty day the day you buy the book, thirty days from now you're going to receive the book, probably sooner than that. And then I'm going to do the audio that same day I release the book. Not at all. Hell, not work for no damn DEA. I don't work at all, dog. I'm retired. I never worked for the DEA. I took classes because my job had us take their their surveillance and what is it? Interrogation and surveillance class. Stop listening, yo, yo, Mac, Mac. I'm thinking you a better brother than. That. Stop listening to them clowns over there, bro. Stop listening to those clowns over there. They always got some slick shit to say out their mouth, bro, but you and I both know. At least I know. They failed at everything they did but the YouTube. That's a goddamn shame. Motherfucker fell at everything, but they come to YouTube. I just stop! <laughs> Stupid ass motherfucker. Cause he was running down the block in the opposite direction. I got to see what's in. Oh, Mark getting ready for work. Bye, Mark. You got to tell us that. Bye. We here. That's a crazy ass thing right there. <laughs> Plenty of times. Plenty of times. He got every right to be scared.
Oh, Gene falling asleep. So I'm sure it's <laughs> back. back and listen to the early good shit. Self defense. Good morning, Uncle Gene. PlayStation discipline. You all 25 years to think about what you would have done. Gene only had seconds. Yeah, bro. Mm. It is what it is. Thank you for that. But anyway, put that up there. I might want to know Puff's scariest moment. Ooh, you want to save him? Yeah, on my battery, I got 10% left. Let me close it up. Look that, let it go out. <laughs> this is April. April? That's April. Oh no, that's, that's Appetite for Chick. Hot Appetite for Chicks. You just got on here, girl. I ain't see you all morning. We've been on here since four o'clock this morning. Where you been? Street team, we've been here since four four forty four forty four this morning or earlier. Cause I wanted to do the time we left the hospital. Paul Hurley, thank you. She, she. Nada. <laughs> I love this. Nigga, I don't hate on nobody. This guy's a public figure that gave felonious and false information about one of the greatest rappers of all time. Death. He is a public figure. He is a public figure that gave felonious information about one of the greatest rappers See, can I do it? The greatest rappers of all times. And put this kid in a situation. So because I speak on his life as a public figure that he has made billions or millions of dollars off the public. And I know what I'm talking about. I'm not hating. Take too much energy. You can't say I can't speak about it. Because when I speak about stuff, it's the life that I partook with him. Nigga, if I tell you he liked cinnamon applesauce on his plate in the morning, and he used to, it's when I was with him. I knew that. You didn't. If I tell you things that you didn't know, you didn't. I know. When you are a public figure, you open yourself up. Just like a motherfucker won't talk about me. I got people talk about me all the time. But they didn't even know me. Don't know me from a can of paint. But they talk about me. Okay? 
Not hating on nobody, bro. But splash underscore 35. Fuck you and feed you beans. <laughs> This has been Big G from Raw Deal, The Last Big Night. I'm coming on again with the Q&A before noon. Y'all be good. Peace.